You understand that? Ten years. You're going to be right here too. But he also got to So what I need to do right now at 16 is come up with a better way. Because how we doing it, it ain't working. He angry at 46. I'm angry at 31. You angry at 16. It's all You understand me? It's all Putting yourself in harm's way is not the way. I feel black pain when I hear the tune, but the ones with influence won't heal the wound. They sit in bunkers and hide behind fences instead of showing leadership to try and direct this. Screaming rhetoric that's right or die reckless with no real attempt to try and dissect this. Painting someone like me as the enemy as if I'm not the one that's been dying defenseless. For so long our dreams were locked in the basement. The hoping and screaming in the coldest of seasons. Surviving the week just to cope on the weekend. This silent decree that we always get thrown in the deep end. But now we're accepting no less enemies of progress are fostering hatred. Is it our reckoning of guilt or our testament of will which makes them stop in amazement? I need the ones who are controlling the prison and reaping the sum of colonialism to acknowledge the sin. That's the first step to ripping out the rottenness within. The second step is raising awareness and addressing the system's blatant unfairness. The third step is economic, but him and his friends, they're not speaking on it. But they're the ones voted in by the majority, which means that they're fine with a dying minority. Fuck poor people and all of their problems, I guess it means that they're fine living in poverty. It doesn't matter that I'm feeding the culture and I'm getting leftovers while they down on my commodity. It doesn't matter that I bleed from revolvers and I double over from their violent monstrosities that the structures here tolerate and evolve. But there's no point in having this debate on the roads, cause we already feel the anger and resentment from rubber bullets who are hitting those standing defenseless. Fighting for those who are handed a death wish by the ones who are sworn in the land to protect us. And now there's a spark which is lit in inferno, and this is what happens when you ban to neglect us. This is more than a fence. We're not responding to bad calls from a bench. But how can you win when the league is against you and everyone in the boardroom secretly resents you? Don't try and battle me. This is my reality. I'm the one who has to live with the battery. I'm charging the kettle now, it's come to a boil. You put so many of our sons in the soil. You put so many of our brothers who are royal in the dirt. I'm tired of saying this in my verse. I'm tired of being tired and praying it doesn't work. And I don't blame God, but I'm blaming this on the church. And I can hear voices getting uncomfortable as I criticize the choices of regular constables. Why do I have to stay calm with a gun in my face whether I'm sleeping at home or running a race. They use their platform to fulfill the avenue that back talk is always enough reason to battle you. That now that I hold true power in my hand, I dare one of you lot to glow at my badge. I can finally abuse it. The violence in this blueprint is styled to be ruthless and it doesn't recognize the times or the movement that seem to happen every 30 years and now tear gas is fueling my burning tears. And the way this causing has gotten in the way. And to everyone who's been silent now and before, each and every one of you can stand common in disgrace. Saying if you did this or didn't do that as if the merits of black humanity is a logical debate. And I've been in this war way before I was born but I still don't know how long it's gonna take for liability and politicians on the jakes. And to all the foreigners that I'm seeing at the rave, to all of the foreigners that I'm seeing at the rave, why don't I see you at the sittings and debates? You, you claim to not fight the eternal fight because of all of your roles and current commitments. But I know you see injustice running the system when you see us beating and flustered with other afflictions. You claim to be woke when you tweet and you call, but you haven't really done much for none of the victims. And this drug of apathy as we deal with the savagery is the same one you're becoming addicted. I see the gram and I pre the posts, but I need a lot more than activism and snap decisions to enact the mission and to make sure that my niggas don't go back to prison. If all of you have is a couple of back squares, it means you did nothing to back the vision. But I wasn't born to be quiet. Before I die, I will distort this climate. We will destroy your quotas and change our limits. You've threatened us with tyranny, but haven't done enough to break our spirits. This is a way of life, I'm not making it a gimmick. My neck will not break when I'm playing in the scrimmage. Resilience is what I'm displaying in the image. The fathers, the sons, and the mothers, and the daughters. To anyone who feels they were never important. To those who have been led to believe that no one understands me. We stand as one fist, one family.